Hey y'all, it's Natalie for A Cherry on Top, and today is Technique Tuesday, and this month we are focused on the technique of doodling. So I have all these fun supplies, and I'm going to work on a travel page of my sons at the airport and on the airplane. I'm going to use these coast-to-coast -coast foam stickers and all those other fun supplies that you see there, and I decided I was going to do a mixed media background, kind of create my own pattern paper. So I pull out this Vicky Booten um, globe stencil and my waffle flower craft blending brushes. And I have wild honey, carved pumpkin, and fossilized amber warm colors. And then I have a speckled egg and um, salty ocean in the blues. And um, I didn't, act, I've actually thought I was filming when I did the blue stenciling, but I did not. So just pay attention to this orange one and know that I did the exact same thing <laughs> when I do the blue stenciling because I, I didn't have, I didn't film it. So you can see, I'm just kind of putting the color through the stencil, but I am leaving um, plenty of white spaces. Then when I move my stencil, I'm just lining it up with the existing um, globes on the page to make sure I kind of get a continuous look. So <laughs> I will say I get to I get to go in here. I get to stenciling and I get the oranges on and I get the blues on and I'm like, whew, it's a little bit more than I intended originally. Um, but I, I left it um, where I'm not doing a voiceover on, but you'll hear my son come in the room and he gushed over how cool the background was and he loved it so much. And I was like, okay, I'm plowing through. There you go, there's the blue that I was unfortunately not filming. So I did that with a paper rose, um, carrot, carrot, um, what's that, chevron stencil. And now I am using just plain water because these are distressed oxides. So I'm just putting a little bit of just plain water splatters on there so that it will give it that cool distressed look that those inks are known for, right? This is a new stamp from Uniquely Creative, and I wanted to add pops of black onto the page. So I'm just going to stamp it first, second generation, a few times around the page, around the stenciling, just to add in another layer of depth of mixed media on the background, as well as pops of that black color that I wanted to repeat in the layout. And what is next? There was a lot. Oh, okay. I'm going to use that same black soot distress ink and just create a few splatters. And I will just put them on top of the stamped square image. So this is when I'm like, mm, I don't know, man. It is looking like a lot. And I'm like, okay, let's maybe just keep going. So my next thought is that I was going to doodle with... Uh, embossing powder. So I have my roller ball. It's actually a re-inker, but I'm using it as a drawing tool. So I'm creating additional chevrons and then I'm going and putting this, I think this is Sunset Boulevard orange sparkly embossing powder on top. That's from WOW. And then I am just letting that be another layer of that background. It adds some sparkle and dimension and some shine um, and another just love level of interest to this very busy <laughs> mixed media background. And now I'm going to melt the embossing powder with my heat gun. So you can see I'm putting, I'm kind of putting the orange embossing powder on the blue area. And then I'll put a little bit of the blue on the orange area just to kind of try to bring cohesion between the two colors. Um, but let's see, this one is called Vintage Turquoise. And then I'll use the lighter one. It's not as noticeable, but the lighter turquoise one is called Sea of Tranquility. Um, I do kind of wish that I had left that off, the little swirls around the circles, but it is what it is. And I, I have another intention for more doodling around um, the airplane die cut that I'm going to use that will kind of incorporate that same color of blue so it will make sense. So I'm about to unmute, ignore the background YouTube video I was watching. You don't want me to melt the color? 
picture of it. Well, what do you mean? I'm just. I need a picture of that. Why? Just a bit. Mm. So he was telling me that he wanted to take a picture of my background because he loved it so much. And so I was like, man, I was really about to scrap it and start over. And so then I was like, no, I have to go with it. This child thinks this is so cool. I need to believe in myself as much as he does, right? <laughs> so I kept going and I got out my embossing ink pen and I just drew little dots around the page and that I decided to add black embossing powder onto the dots and that would help kind of incorporate another image um another bit of black into the background like with my stamping and so our repeated color um helps with cohesion so i got that little um airplane die that is from a vicky booten i think it's the where to next collection but again we are focusing on doodles today right and so i this was kind of like the starting point for the layout because I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do like a smoke cloud, like coming out from behind the airplane and, and kind of draw it like a, like a comic book style. So I just created a little cloud here with my black gel pen. I'm going over the, um, lines two and three times, giving it a sketchy look, but also just to make it bolder. And then I'm going to use my roller ball and the pen together to fill um, that little smoke cloud with um, embossing ink. And then I will go and put that mm, vintage turquoise color in it. The one that um, is kind of half swirls around the circles on the background. And um, that will kind of incorporate that background into the ephemera bits that I'm using to embellish. So here I am melting the paper and then I'm going to go back in and do another layer, um, fill in the gaps of um, white that are still there. And then, you know, I didn't, I it was supposed to be sketchy and messy. So I, I was fine with leaving like white bits in there. And um, then I'm going to fussy cut that out. Fussy cutting is one of my least favorite things, to be honest with you, but it wasn't a, a necessity in this page um so I started with this idea that I wanted like the smoke coming out from behind the airplane but then I thought well all of the embellishments maybe I should give them all the same treatment so I I go on to um stick down the airplane as well as the two foam stickers that I plan to embellish with onto white cardstock and then I'm going to use that same gel pen to draw around them um a few times give it that like sketchy um bolder line and then fussy cut those out as well and so each of the embellishment elements will have like a doodly line around them and so i feel like this is a really good way um to make a page very whimsical um if you are trying to make it very fun maybe even childlike because the photos are of my boys in the airport um I think that this is a really good way to do that and you could do it a lot neater than I did it um and it would maybe look different um it's kind of the same idea as inking up the edges of a die cut or something like that but um I feel like it gives a comic book vibe, especially on the elements that are popped up like those foam stickers. And so I will use my foam tape to pop up the ones that are not already popped up like the foam stickers. Um, so I'm loving the way this is looking actually. So the background is still a lot and there are bits of it that I don't like, like those blue half circles that I drew, but I am happy with how it's coming together. And since the photo was of Heath, you know, and he really liked the background. So I'm like, cool, we're going with it. Right. Um, so I pulled that yellow paper with airplanes. It's from a very old Vicky Booten collection. It's from a six by eight paper pad. And then I decide to create a few sketchy lines around the pattern paper edges, um, to bring cohesion, just another, um, nod to that doodly element that I have repeating itself around the page. And, um, this was just a collage. My intention was originally to cut apart the collage and use the small photos, but I actually really liked the way, um, that they were together. So I just kept it together. So I pulled out these alpha stamps, um, for my stash and I used the carved pumpkin to stamp BNA, which is the 
airport code, I guess, for um, our local Nashville airport. And I'm giving it the same treatment, the sketchy lines all the way around. And I'm going to cut um, around that. And SEA is Seattle. So we are flying from Nashville to Seattle. And I did that one in salty ocean distress oxide. So now, because I had just kind of like an empty space down on the left and I didn't really need to write any journaling on this page. I didn't really have a lot to say. So at least it can tell you like where we're flying from. So we're flying from Nashville to Seattle. And then I realized that what I'm covering up that stamping. So I'm just going to uh, extend that black stamping with the uniquely creative stamp. And this is a new one. And these stamps are really inexpensive, but they are very lovely. I think that they're stamping very nicely. So I added a few more splatters around that stamp and it is peeking out from the photo. And it will be a nice little base for that adventure is calling uh, thicker. And those are the foam thickers from the Coast to Coast collection um, by American Crafts that was recently released. So I'm using my cherry tape foam dots to pop up the bits that are already not foam thickers. Um, the stamped bits and the ephemera. And then we're almost done. I did add another little, um, I can't, why can I never think of the word? I want to call it a carrot and it is a carrot on the keyboard, but it is a chevron. I add another chevron just to kind of indicate that we're going from BNA to Seattle. Um, and popping up those stamps there. And I think it's almost done. So uh, check out the still photos in the gallery and possibly on the blog today um, at a cherry on top. Um, if you like this video, you can come see more from me on my channel, um, Natalie Dill at Delightfully Crafty over here on YouTube. So I hope you are inspired to add some doodles to your page. You can do a lot of doodles and have a very whimsical look, or you could just do a few doodles and help things kind of pop off the page. I did do one last doodly line all the way around my page, and I felt like that was a really good way to incorporate all the doodles together, you know, and it was a nice finishing touch. So I hope you guys are inspired. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love it if you would um, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Bye.